Welcome to this session. This is all about the weighted mean. At the end of the video, you can compute for weighted mean using Microsoft Excel and interpret the result. A mean score is an average score often denoted by X bar. It is the sum of all data values divided by the number of data values. Thus, if you have a set of n numbers such as x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, up to x sub n, the mean of those numbers would be defined as x bar is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus and so on plus x sub n divided by n. Or it can be written as the summation of x sub i all over n. For example, the mean of the numbers 1, 2, and 3 would be 2. So you add 1, 2, and 3 and divide the sum by 3, you get a value of 2. A weighted average or weighted mean or a scaled average is used when some data values are more important than other values so these contribute more to the final average this often occurs in the way professors assign grades in their courses for instance a professor may want the exam grades to weigh more than quiz and homework grades when computing the final grade in the course Let's have an example of a statement of a problem of a certain or for example of a given research paper. And the SOP is this. What is the participant's attitude toward flipped classroom approach? And in this research, for example, the researcher used survey questionnaire like this in determining the attitude of the participants or respondents toward flip classroom approach. So in here, as you can see, we use a Likert scale, 5 for strong, strongly agree, 4 for agree, 3 for neutral, 2 for disagree, and 1 for strongly agree. And we have here the numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have 20 statements about, uh, about flipped classroom, okay? uh, particularly the attitude of uh, students or yeah, participants toward flipped classroom approach. And then let's say, for example, uh, we already gathered okay, um, a set of data using the questionnaire and how are we going to organize the data in a Microsoft Excel. So first we may actually have the first column, the respondent number. So you may actually label your questionnaires one up to the total uh, number of your participants. So for let's say up to 20. So you label your questionnaire one to 20. And then, for example, you include some variables, profile variables, such as gender and academic strand, and you need to do coding for those. One for male, two for female. And for this strand, it can be one for STEM, two for ABM, and three for HUMS. Okay, it can be like that for these profile variables. Now, so what are these S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, up to S20? So these are actually the statements. So instead of writing okay, the statements here, 1 to 20, completely in the column header for, your, uh, for the tally or for the or, uh, organization of your data, we may use a coding for the statements, for the 20 statements. And those uh, corresponds to S1, S2, S3, S4, as up to S20. Okay, so let's say for example how to input okay the answer of respondent one. So if respondent one is actually is actually a male, so you use uh, you write one, and for the academic strand, let's say one is for STEM, so you write one there instead of STEM, and uh, you need to actually uh, input now the rating for the 
for each of the statement no uh, of respondent one so we have s1 he rated it as three s2 he choose two s3 five and s4 three and so on and you do that for the the other respondents respondent to up to the last respondent so that's how to input okay our data into uh, microsoft excel now i'm going to show you okay on how to actually uh, get the weighted mean using uh, microsoft excel so this is actually uh, the same data okay but instead of 20 we have here at a total of uh, 80 respondents so we will just compute the weighted mean using microsoft excel okay so you will just actually uh click on this first uh, data value here for respondent one for s1 and then we need to get the weighted mean okay for this respondent one so you will just drag this part here and then it should have an excess of one and then you have to click on this part the arrow uh, key here down arrow key here for the summation but you just click the arrow here and then choose average and that's the average okay the weighted mean for respondent one for the 20 statements you can actually just drag this by clicking the small square there and to get the weighted mean for the other respondents okay so that's the mean for its respondent now so we are also interested to get the weighted mean per statement okay the 20 statements so what we're going to add or to to get uh, is actually the weighted mean for its statement so just the same process you need to actually click it here and then you drag it okay you drag this one up to the last and there should be an excess of one for the weighted mean and just the same you have to click this part here and then choose average Okay, so you have the weighted mean for for the first statement and then for the other statements you can just click on that small square there and then you have to drag it up to this part so that you will have an overall mean okay and then that's the weighted mean for its uh, statement okay now so uh, to report okay our to report uh, the result we actually need to write the mean okay so this is actually how to make a table for the attitude of the participants toward flip classroom per statement so we are interested to get the mean per statement and to actually uh, get the descriptive interpretation Okay, we can actually do that uh, instead of just copying per the mean for its statement here, we can actually do tra some transposition. So, um, you can actually uh, copy, okay, copy this one if you want to copy. So, you may copy the S1, S2, S3 that corresponds to the 20 respondents, uh, I'm sorry, 20 statements and then you can actually uh, click here right click then you do some transposition okay paste it as transpose okay for the 20 um, statements and then uh, you have to copy also the weighted mean okay for its statement you copy that And then you paste it anywhere here but you paste it you right click you paste it as values okay and then you copy it again you have to right click copy it again and then you click it here and then you paste it as to transpose okay and you do some uh, formatting here uh, you may format the cells and then you may write up click number here then you have that two decimal places so you click that part so that's it two decimal places this is actually the overall mean okay overall mean 
and then you can just copy and paste these uh these values in our uh, excel in our ms word okay so in this case i actually present it in a powerpoint presentation so you can you need to uh yeah copy the minder and then you paste it here and that's it that's the table for our uh, attitude toward flip classroom approach so the next thing is to interpret it's of the means here what do you mean by this since we have five levels if you still remember five four three two one and these are averages so how are we going to interpret it so we need to use a likert scale or likert scale and we have here uh, three uh, Likert scales. The, there's the five-point Likert scale, four-point Likert scale, and the three-point Likert scale. But uh, since we use a five-point Likert, Likert scale, we need to use this scale range here. So we have 1.00 to 1.79. That's strongly agree. 1.80 to 2.59 disagree. 2.6 to 3.39 neutral. 3.40 to 4.19 the interpretation is agree and 4.20 to 5.00 that's strongly agree okay so that's the descriptive interpretation or verbal interpretation okay or uh, since we are looking or determining the attitude of the participants okay, toward flip classroom we can have a general way of interpreting the means by using this if the mean is greater than or equal to 2.5 uh, it means that the participants uh, have positive or favorable attitude toward the approach and if the mean is less than 2.5 uh, it means that the participants have negative or unfavorable attitude toward the approach okay so uh, that's for the five point light like or scale okay you can also have maybe uh, in other questionnaires you will be using four point like or scale and then you need to use this uh, table here if you are using a three point like or scale this is how to interpret the means or the yeah the scale range here Okay, so this is now our uh, completed uh, table for participants' attitude toward flip classroom approach with the descriptive interpretation based from the Likert scale with the overall mean here. So I highlighted some important uh, uh, data values here. These are actually the highest okay, uh, means here and this blue here are the lowest so these are the things that we need to actually uh, include in our discussion or the in the or in the interpretation of the table and of course do not forget to include in your explanation or discussion the overall mean okay so that's how to actually uh, organize and and how to get the uh, weighted mean using microsoft excel and also how to interpret them using the corresponding likert scale okay so this is all done just mabalo thank you see you in my next video bye bye